news, my lovely, wonderful people. You'll be surprised. Even Femi Fani Kayode reacts as court sacks Zamfara State's governor. And the reason is not far-fetched. It was all manipulated. You know that this the new Zamfara State governor has been exposing all that, yeah, you know, um, the former governor did, Matawa Bello, all that he did. And so they've been waiting for him at the appropriate time. And this is court season to ensure that they deal with him. And you can see for yourself exactly what is going on even right now. Nigerians, every one of us must be up and about in ensuring that we do not allow the same thing over and over again. So this is what is happening. This is what is going on. And every one of us can see courts now has sacked, you know, the former, the, the governor of Zamfara. For whatever reason, this is exactly what is going on right here and now. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe as we get all the details. Femi Fani Kayode reacts as the appeal court sacks Zamfara State governor. Everyone knowing that something else has been the reason why he was sacked. The former Minister of Evasion, Femi Fani Kayode, has reacted to the appeal court judgment that sacked the Zamfara State governor, Daudu Lawa, of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Late Nigeria reported that the Independent National Electoral Commission has declared Daudu as the winner of the election. However, the APC governorship candidate, Bello Matawa, I told you, the form, that is now, he has, is a minister, challenged the outcome of the March 18 governorship election at the tribunal, but his petition was denied for lack of merit. During the delivery on Thursday, the Court of Appeal declared the election inconclusive and ordered INEC to hold a fresh election in three local government areas. The three members panel of justi justice are not the victory of Lawa and order a rerun of the election in three local government areas. The affected local government area are Maridu, Marini, Barini, and Magiji. In a post via his ex, Femi Fani Kayode congratulated Bello Matawa. You see, Femi Fani Kayode is such, I don't want to call him a bloody man. He's just a man for the stomach. Yeah, he's a, he's a man who loves food. And that's what he does. He's congratulating the court for what they did. And what and why is Bello Matawa challenging, challenging this? It's because this guy is exposing. As soon as the guy came in, he started saying this governor did not do anything. He's buying things for bandits. Is he the one that is the minister of defense? What is Tinibu doing? And he said, in fact, it's not just hearsay. You see the video and this is why they are pursuing him. Let's continue. He congratulated Bello Matawa and commended the judiciary for having the court the courage to sack Daudu, stressing that the verdict was the beginning of the process of returning of stolen mandate. He expressed optimism that Bello Matawa will return, as the will return his candidate as the governor after the rerun, despite the media sludge on Beto Mawa, Be Bello Matawa against him in the last few months, saying he works with bandits. However, I congratulate my friend. This is what you see these guys having friendship with all the wrong people. You see, they don't want Nigeria to be good, though. Those of you that will collect money and vote for some people, <clears throat> I congratulate my friend, the now honorable, there's no honor in this, Minister of State for Defense, Bello Matawa, on the resounding victory at the election appeal today. I commend the panel of judges and the judiciary generously for having the courage to do the right thing and properly and, and properly document the right thing. Bello Matawa candidates will be returned now. I have no doubt that the people of Zamfara are overjoyed. They are not overjoyed. They are saddened. You have you are part of it. And they will soon have cause to rejoice even more when the rerun takes place in Mat rerun takes place. Finally, the right governor will be installed. All this media sludge and attack against the victorious one will be brought to an end. His victory at the court today is a testimony to the goodness of God. They don't bring God, God into the matter. Mercy, grace, and power, greatness, and confirmation of the fact that this is the end to darkness and light has begun. Well done, my brother. I'm proud of you. You know what Femi Fani Kayode is doing? Femi Fani Kayode is looking for association. He's looking for, be, he wants to belong. That's Femi Fani Kayode for you. He's looking for association. He wants to belong. He's looking for something. That's Femi Fani Kayode. It's not because he wants anything good. No. 
No. Penny Farika Ode is not, is not pursuing the good of the nation. Anywhere anybody can give him a contract, put some money into his hands, is to, is to satisfy his appetite. You know, so long as Penny Farika Ode's appetite is satisfied, he is quite happy. This is what is going on. And so he's celebrating the court. He say, ah, the court has done well. They sacked this, they sacked that. You know, uh, those who have been, uh, you know, squandering him in the media. Why would they be squandering him or, you know, uh, stabbing him in the media if he has not, if he, if he has done everything well? Is it not a madman that will go outside and begin to shout on top of his voice? Uh -huh. Outside, just stand and just be shouting. Everybody's passing by and is shouting. What will people say? Something is not right. He's not well. Is that not what people will say? Is that not what people will say? Exactly. You are not having a problem with anyone. Nothing. That's why they say silence is the best answer for a fool. Because a fool will just keep on ranting and shouting. Why people are like, ah, what's going on? Why? Why is he shouting? Nobody knows the reason. Only him himself by himself or himself knows. And the funniest thing is that this country, all these people who are committing all these evil atrocities, they are in the aim of affair. But guess what? It will not be long. It will come to an end. How? I cannot tell you, but it will happen. Wait in God day. God day. They see the suffer what they go through as a nation. And they see the suffer. Bello Matawa, who is now a minister, he, you know, of course, he has money to spend. All the money is for. I did nothing for the how many years he did absolutely nothing. And so he has kept that money now to satisfy people. And that's why the judiciary has totally, completely lost they are who they are. Nobody trusts the judiciary again. Nobody's looking up to them. There is nothing coming from that end. And everybody, Nigerians, are just watching. Any verdict that the judiciary gives, they say, uh, nobody, nobody is looking at it with, with all kinds of genuineness and say, wow, you know, we know that when we go to court, we'll get, we'll get justice, things will be done properly, you know. Where are those opportunities? Where are those honest and safe positions that when we get to court, we'll get, we'll get, the, we'll get the right thing? Where is it? Where is it today? Where is it today? When we get to court, this matter will be settled. The, the, the judges will look at all the options and all the uh, whatever is going on and they'll be able to decide and the person who really, you know, uh, uh, is due for this will get this. Where is it today? Totally lost. Because some people now love money rather than speaking the truth. This is part of what we are experiencing, what we are going through. And honestly, sincerely speaking, it feels very strong. We feel very, it's very, very unbelievable that these things are happening. Sincerely, truly speaking, it's very, very unbelievable. And if we want change to come, every one of us, we have to begin to rise up and say enough is enough. Leave us a comment. God bless. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Have a good day. Bye for now.